Yes, greetings family, Bomani Tamba, and we're back for the final segment, part 5, of the Kwesi Boyd Gambia Saga. Yes, family. So my brother, uh, let's uh, close out on these things. Yeah. And then we have other things to move on to and everything, but we're just going to wrap it's it up. A lot, it's a lot to talk about, and you know, I'm going to... I actually pulled up here a whole timeline of events, okay? You said you wanted to see timeline and you know we're, we're disciplined with things like this all of this stuff uh, was mostly documented through um, YouTube <coughs> because there have to be uh, some liability and we gotta establish who's liable, liable so the Gambian prosecutors already established that you know everything was legitimate as far as everything that we were doing there we had to show records receipts payrolls they interview people you know and um they got this as well one of the accusers left open their messenger and these are screenshots of conversations that she was having and you know god bless me to get this right here and this is the type of people that they wanted to work with people who were sloppy people who were you know there to cause disruption people you know they supported these great defamers of the movement took them under their wing, embraced them, and brought them into the network to uh, attack myself, Art Kathy, our investment community. And it's the simple truth. And we're going to go by it, but with all of this stuff, do you see the first one right here? This is Adrian right here, and the date, you know, uh, and this, you know, it's, it's available. They they had the link. I don't know how they got somebody gave them the link, but I put a password on it now. Uh, however, you can see the date right there, October nineteenth, twenty twenty. I started with uh, art a year before. I mean, Juliet twenty nineteen. So this was the following year after I worked with Juliet. This was October. You know what I mean? So I worked with Juliet late in the year <clears throat> after she did the Watermire video up to this time, and then you see the conversation here. Greetings, sis. I hope you are well. It's Adrian from Blacksit. <clears throat> now, it has been established that there, there was no criminality on the ha behalf of uh, our Kathy Hills and Kwesi uh, uh, Investor Locate Africa in our uh, in economic community, over 500 members. I have the databases here. Um, over 250 uh, people plans and based investments, over 50 investments. I have those databases here. I have all their investment records uh, in databases here. I create databases, so they were banking on me not having that and trying to jam me up. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. Okay, I'm good. Here's my number. I respect what you're doing. Keep doing it. I'm owed an apology. Wouldn't you think so? Absolutely, brother. It's all there. I'm, I'm, I'm owed an apology. All cleared in English. But let's see if we get that. Uh, see how that works. See, we can't be so arrogant. And I told them, I was like, we shouldn't get to this point. These days yeah. shouldn't come. You know what I mean? And it's, it's ugly and a lot of people were hurt and people got to know what's going on because the vibe over there, once you get over there, people are going to start talking. You know, when Watermine went over there, they, you know, everybody going to keep it up. But that's, you know, what to trust me. And a lot of people have already been talking. And a lot of people are upset and we shouldn't be over in Africa. You know, people coming from the U.S., we running into people from the U.K. She's a representative for the people from the U.K. All people from the U.K. is not like that. You know what I mean? And, I, you right. know, but they made it, you know, made everyone very fearful of who to deal with. Everybody's just kind of scared. And that's not, we came over there to be brothers and embrace. We want the kumbaya energy, but it ain't there. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not there. Amongst a few of us, you know, so, uh, you know, as we continue to go down, you're going to see other conversations with uh, investors, wow. conversations with investors and you know, this investors say, hey, yeah, once this come out, it's going to, you know, this was going to tear everything up. It's going to tear everything down. Bro, you know, here you go. All right, that's Jamal. Okay. Now, this is, um, you know, Facebook. We have everything pretty much. I mean, the first one already established proof that as soon as they came out, the main videos that are... Uh, it's evidence against them now that the prosecutors said, hey, they've seen all the records now. It was a, we had a multi-million dollar land deal taking place, right? Uh, this is, 
DC. We sold over 120 uh, real estate reports. So these are the databases here. We sold over 120 real estate reports have, and I'm just showing you what we have as far as... Um, I wish we could do screen sharing. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it, you know, it's not important for them to see that yeah, because, probably not like true. I said, this is a... Uh, because remember, if none of that stuff was true and all of these people were, uh, you know, injured, right? <clears throat> Art Kathy particularly. You understand what I'm saying? Then my business, but you see all of these people here? All right. Okay. Here are the numbers on the side here. This this is investors, our IRA investors, right? Now, if you look at them, you see people with, you know, where they're from, Van Jewel, Kansas, Greensboro, you know, a lot a lot of these people pledged, but these are the people that paid right here. Gotcha. Okay, these were all the people that were paid, that have paid, and we're gonna count through them right quick. All right, and this was the prosecution prosecutors saw, saw, and they do it all out. You know, they were gonna throw it out immediately. Then Julia and Adrian tried to come and pressure them, working behind the scenes. Like I said, going to my wife's house, working with uh, uh, Shantae White. You know, say uh, uh, sitting in there with my wife and my family that I have to my first wife I divorced and made in the famous video. My wife said in the video, my ex-wife that I don't take care of my children and everything after she stole $10,000 from me. You know what I mean? I tried to work with her. She was the first uh, girl I met, uh, you know, four years ago. <coughs> married her. We stayed married for about three and a half years. We have two children. They're going to go to this girl who was just hurt and emotional. You know, that's my personal life. You understand what I'm saying? It's just so ridiculous. This is after the prosecution dropped the case. Okay? They did not. They just wanted to push it all the way. Going to Africa trying to tear a brother down. This is uh, uh, Kiki Love Nigeria. Check her channel out. She did tremendous work in exposing. And I know a lot of people have a lot of fear. And a lot of times we don't want to deal with the real issue. But remember, this is not America. They made this a killing ground for us to kill ourselves. Let, you know, stay in the West if you're gonna wanna bring each other that crab in the barrel. You you know, we go over there. We, that's not gonna turn out positive. This is one of the accusers right here. See, but let's count them. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. That's thirty. Forty. So that's forty. Okay, 40 there. These were pending. See these people pending? Wow. Look, I'm not even going to count them. See that? And look, there's no duplicates here. These are all people. What They left their email addresses and everything. They have the amount that they were going to pledge, right? We can go here and take a look at it. I mean, you know, uh, however, this is all the stuff that was billed to R. Kathy. And where are we at? 257 people. 40 of them put up. All right, perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Uh, so you have it's your, your a, stats and your data. So, uh, yeah, folks, so. if you need to get some records, uh, mm -hmm. my brother would uh, email it to you. But, uh, well, you know what? This, is, this, so. is what we, this is what I did is I put a timeline together. And Kiki did a lot of work as well. Uh, we're going to put it all together because it's history. Wow. We're going to put it all together because it's Unbelievable. history. Unbelievable. It's already, it's already there and it's, uh, it's placed there. However, if we're over there and you have people over there like Juliet, and she's willing to risk her, you know, you look up the definition of a narcissist, you, you know, and she fit <laughs> that, you know, that's it, you know, and, uh, you know, we, and like I said, it's so, laughing on cut. you know, a, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, so trouble that, relationships, lack of empathy for others. So this is all person, her. That's, you've been, that's the person you have been around. Yeah, uh, uh, a mental seen. condition. In which people have an inflated sense of uh, their own importance. Wow. You know, and you know, I, I'm not, I don't you know, I'm sitting around and, and thinking about and, and, and focusing on these people, man. I, you know, like we're gonna go into, we're gonna go into the idea of a uh, polygamy, and this is what you see a battle of. You see a battle of the, you know, people are looking at that in the wrong way. They're looking at the African culture in the wrong way, and. We definitely moving about the situation in a wrong way. So I, I, 
I'm, I'm finished with it. You know, the evidence is there, obviously and clearly. It can't be disputed. It, you know, all of the lies and everything, the disgraceful lies that they levied against me, you know, with regards to me sleeping with underage women, doing cocaine, you know. In fact, one of the uh, accusers is uh, had a history of substance abuse. And she was the, that's the one that was doing the drugs, and they put that out in, in front uh, on me in front of the community of hundreds of people. I didn't even show you the membership. That was over 500. All these people verify that you can call them. And if you're watching out there and you guys, you've been affected by this, send me an email. You know, it just took time for all of this stuff to, to come to this point. But people were affected. You know, millions of dollars within our organization was affected. And Art Kathy Hills, you know, her mom, you know, I apologize to everyone who was hurt by this situation. But it was not Art Kathy at all. Immediately, you know, I said, hey, Art Kathy did what she was supposed to do. And that was true. You know, she was out there. She was marketing. When she saw the, what, I, the, what I was doing, I had the team, you know, uh, I obviously have a track work. I was working with Juliet. So these people aren't stayed at my house. Juliet's been at my house. The accusers uh, stayed at my house. You know, some early investors stayed at my house. You know, we entertained, you know, uh, uh, important people in the in, in political arena at my house there, you know, uh, in Bruce Bee. Also, you know, Black Acres been to my house there before they even started their channel. So it, it, it runs deep. I mean, when I got with Juliet, you know, like I said, I, you know, invited them to come out. And the riff started there because, you know, she's not a people person like that. And, you know, even people within her own organization has come forward, but they're very fearful. You know, one stopped me in the store and he just started unusually, talk, you know, like he just had to get it off his t chest, you know. And, you know, he was like, hey, listen, everything that's, they, they, they just started, you know, wanted to blame you for all of this. Just to cover up, you know, her character and what she was doing. And they want to, you know, they had, she wanted to create a, you know, fan of flames of all of this drama just to cover up her, her personality and wow. who she is. Well, serious business, brother. Wow. And her baby, Negro P. And see, we, didn't, we don't forget yeah. about him, huh? No, we're just trying to just, yeah. again, just connecting people and then yeah. adding the sequence of the situation. Mm -hmm to let people know that this person is birthed from literally black people reporting other black people and reporting other black people to where I've he been to the police. I've been brought to the police. The police, I'm coming out my house. Listen, I have Gambian family there. You know, I'm coming out my house. I'm walking, walking down the street mm -hmm. with like three girls. A car pulled up with a girl. One of the accusers, she put up 16000 You understand what I'm saying? And from, you know, it wasn't even about the money from day one because if they wanted the records and see if you know the, the, the records and everything it was all there you know what i mean everything was done it was legit it was it had nothing to do with that i put twenty thousand in myself i was the largest investor i was investing you know tens of thousands before everybody came when i got there the year i came here i brought like compute uh, ten what eight computers you know uh three laptops you know I spent a lot of money. I had to get the compound, so I rented that, but I started training. So I was already in over 50000 60000 you know, uh, there. And like I said, I, I got married and I had wives, so, you know, there was weddings and everything that I paid in, from my own situation. And anybody that came over there and that invested in that process, their money went to the... Pro we was just going to duplicate that. Right, and, 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 and we're still working behind the scenes. And, you know, it's another story about a brother. His... uh. He has a B&B &B over there. His name uh, is Elvin. He came through Art Kathy. And when all the drama was, he was actually staying at one of the vacation properties. You understand? And he stayed with me the whole time through that drama. And he was a brother. He was cool. You know, like many other brothers came through around that time. Everybody at that time, everything went silent, but people were still coming. Before, I used to, we used to be on camera, but then we took everything off the camera. We help people build their business. So we help him build his business, get him on his feet. He going, right? And we had a number of women come there and try to destroy this humble man business. It's so heart-wrenching. Heart-wrenching. You know, if you look on my page, you'll see some pictures that I posted. The same thing we was doing with Art Kathy. You know, because I can, I, I, I'm multi-talented. I mean, we can do interior design, you know. You know, anything I do, I try to give the highest level experience because I've traveled the world. 
You know, I've been to Vegas 20 times. I stayed in, you know, saw, I stayed in most of the major hotels on the Strip. You know, I mean, we were going out there years ago. My whole family, even before that, I have a clothing line I was doing. So, you know, I, and we stayed at many resorts and, you know, uh, my wife, she was the, she worked right under the vice president of uh, cargo for Delta. So we can get on any plane. I've been over 400 flights and then, and I stopped counting. I was at 400. I don't know, about eight years ago. Wow. I stopped because you get a whole list. But in any case, I'm someone I've seen a lot and I want to be able to bring the, the level of refinement there, you know, with limited resources and experience, you know, high level, but, uh, and, and we're doing that. But in any case, you know, the attack on him, you know, there was a lady that came down from Senegal and her son and the, my, my, my Gambian family, people that are working for me, you know, I'd like to apologize for the behavior of these people and that you're seeing, you know, that's coming from the U.S. And, you know, it's def it definitely doesn't represent uh, all of us. And, you know, I really pray that, you know, we could work bre better to, you know, uh, uh, be able to integrate into the society and the, c the culture without you guys having to deal with all of this trauma. You know, I I've had uh, one girl that's been with me for a while. She's worked with me with um, Juliet and Art. Man, she's been through so much abuse from these ladies, man. You understand what I'm saying? You know, art's cool, but I have problems with art. You know, I, as everybody know, I was waiting for art to get up out of there as well. You know what I mean? You know, it wasn't no secret. secret. She's, you know, a beautiful sister, and she had a lot of potential. And my thing is always with the, that the, the people that uh, have a little bit more uh, stability, and we all go through stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm there for the 80% of the people that's coming over there that, you know, they just want to get out of America and they want to get over there and they don't want to make mistakes and they want to be around and have a support system. You understand what I'm saying? You know, it may come through, you know, uh, <laughs> Juliet or, 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 uh, Art Kathy and, you know, uh, however, you know, at the end of the day, this, how these things have played out and what we've seen, you know, uh, really, you know, undermines the, our role there in, in, uh, in Africa. Um, <laughs> deep brother like a funeral but you yeah, know, at the uh, end of the day we're going to talk wow. about some light now we're going to let all of this sad situation wow, go uh, we're going to put our chins up we're going to move forward you um, know but what I want this is what I want we need a legal counsel we need to come together and people out there are professional people that work in the, in the U.S. we have people with a lot of you know uh, uh, titles you know we need to have some type of accountability uh, for situations like this you know people are donating a lot of money to people's personal causes we need to set up something where we can create a, a legal fund and when we see disturbances like the exodus alliance we need to have something in place to 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 stop that you know people are seeing us people are seeing us it's, it's crazy you know and that's not going to work in our favor you know these foreign governments that we're going into if we're going over there with our dollar and we're not being right they are going to be exploited it's going to happen you know, you can get into situations and land deals and, you know, like what's going on over there now, lands being sold, that's, um, it's in, uh, you know, uh, not probate or something like that, but it's, it's questionable land, you know, it's being challenged, you know, uh, so, and then a lot of times you find that the land owner, the, the original sellers, they're in cahoots. You know, they'll say, okay, we'll sell the land and then you come back around and then, you know, you dispute the land and then we can sell it four or five times. It's a, it's a lot of weird stuff like that going, uh, going on over there. So we need some type of oversight. You know, we, uh, we, we actually have land deal that we had paused. Well, oversight, that's where Nigel Pian comes in. Nigel Pian, you know, anybody that want to do that, you know, we, you know, you know his channel. Now, you know, he's uh, going to oversight people like yourself and anybody else in the Gambia and people like myself and anybody else. That, that's, what he, that's, what he, that's what he mentioned. I, 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 think he's, <laughs> I think he's coming to Gambia. He's supposed to be coming to Gambia and joining Blacks. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? I got to say that he actually, he actually came out. And, you know, I guess he had a change of heart, you know, for a second. What? But he came and started speaking about Juliet because he ran out of Art Kathy content. He's like, <laughs> now nah, let me go after Juliet. It, the dog turned around and beat the owner. You know what I'm saying? And then went for the throat. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's, it's so crazy, man. And, you know, my people from the northeast, up and down the east coast, you know what I mean, Midwest, 
and all you know west coast you know all my cool people man you know it's beautiful all over in africa and we're going to talk more about that you can really live like a king you can really live like a queen absolutely we can go ahead and bring it back to the days i was just talking to a young boy from my hood i was like i'm so sorry that y'all didn't see welly avenue and welly avenue was a spot on every uh, saturday and sunday it was thousands of people out there and cars used to come through all types of cars you know uh lined up you know what i mean and now all of these towns and even in atlanta when i went down there in 98 they have 112 559 you know you 559 it, it'll you on the weekend traffic will stop out there it'll be stuck that's how many cars there all of that stuff is gone now you know what i mean the population willie avenue was dead and you know, um, they, they don't see what we saw and they're coming in where I'm from is where Yale University is, you know, so through uh, urban renewal, revitalization, you know, uh, Winchester Avenue is where I grew up. They had this big gun factory. Wow. They turned it into a multiplex of shops and everything and stores and apartments, a multiplex, right? And I was like, my mother used to work at that gun factory. So why was it a gun factory back in the 80s when everybody was killing up each other and everything? Now the whole community done got killed off. I have plenty of friends that got killed right there, right down the street from the factory in the area. My brother was found dead a few blocks from there. Over 30 years, y'all killed up the community. Now it's looking like, you know, a Brooklyn shopping district. You know what I'm saying? In this area, shit is all nice now. Why can't we have that? And, and, you know, and the reality in New Haven, Connecticut is, you know, when Yale University, you know, its expansion, you know, the, the only reality is the bigger Yale grow, the, the less you saw the, the, the black community. But we're behind the ball on that because they've been got us in the 80s with the drugs and everything. It's a reality in America, and that's why a lot of people want to get out of there. And we want to be able to, to, to deal with the facts and be able to move in a way that, you know, we can secure our investment there and our well-being. Absolutely, family. And that's why we're building this strong movement to really just lay a foundation where if you're looking to go go or come to Africa, mm -hmm. you can connect with us family mm -hmm. and we'll li Africa literally Africans, link you on the journey of a lifetime, yep. get you connected to where you're looking to be and literally just build that future for you to where we can put our economic connections together yeah. and represent righteousness. Uh -huh. That way, you know what I'm saying? People can be, you know what I'm saying, really just take us serious mm -hmm. and want to just do certain things and really just focus on this investing. But uh, with all that stuff, you know, I'm glad everything is all cleared up uh, and family. This is what we have to go through sometimes uh, with the yeah. drama where you're trying to do serious business and your name get mixed in with other people's name and then right. things like that. And it's, just, it's, it's, it's rough, but you know, what you have to do is just stand strong right. and then keep telling your truth and keep letting people see what you're doing and everything right and, and, and things like that because one thing i know about liars thieves and just people who just literally just come up with this just make stuff up they literally run out of stuff after a while you know what yeah. i'm saying like look at that the unapologetic negro pian if you just look at his channel all he's talking about is swirling and white man is winning and, yeah. and things like that and it's like it's like it's he like sold everybody else. It's he like all the people that was just like watching him and all into him. Like oh, he's 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 he, he, he's bringing out the scammers in. He's telling the truth about people doing this and that. And I was like, now you know, look what he's doing. It's like, it's like you know, I was like, family, you can get with that or you can get with this. And I'm saying, it's like there's people that are serious about us and serious about building something. And there's people who just i just using things for entertainment and things like that. Like I tell people, you know, the business that we run in here is serious business. You know what I'm saying? I'm not an entertainer. I don't have time to play games with people. You know, we yeah. do serious business. What mm -hmm. we do on YouTube, and we may crack a smile and joke and mm -hmm. laugh a little bit and everything. And all when we're traveling, show you we're having a great time. You know, that's part of business and us, us enjoying good times and everything. But it's a serious business and things like that. So we definitely want... You to just look out there and see the people like my brother is always saying that, you know what I'm saying? These people are getting exposed and he just tied in the, you know what I mean? It's like one of those dark beta stories, the father and the son. Yeah. Or, you yeah. know, or, you know, in this case, uh, <laughs> in this case, I don't know, it's the father and the daughter or the daughter and the, the father or whatever way you want to flip it. But uh, we look at a situation where we just, you know, where we empowered wickedness because we are too busy running our mouth to other people that ain't got nothing to do Gossip, with us man. and telling people other people business. Next thing you know, mm. that person like, oh my God, I got some juicy news. They acting like they BBC and stuff like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like they got, you know, like they got some world 
winning newscaster stories and everything and all of this brother and what I've seen it, it it's just a trail of literally black people selling on other people just like hey you may have an organization you have 500 people that you're doing business with now come on man you may have five people that's at least a minimum five people that just don't like you and gonna yeah. gonna give out information and everything and which means nothing but then people like that out there they just run with these stories and that's it so they got a little bit of fame and now that they run out all the lies and all and, and people run out of stuff that they, they can tell and things like that you know, now they're just talking about, you know, he's talking about swirling mm -hmm. and showing white Afri Africans and things like that on the screen and things like that. So this person has never been serious about nothing right. and still not showing anything. And while per this person or that person that, that, like, are doing those things, we're still making moves to Africa. You know what I'm saying, family? In the smoke. Yeah. Absolutely, family. So we're going to close out because uh, we just done done them people. We'll finish up and we'll let people know that to do your research on everyone and things yeah. like that. Don't let yeah. people smile on your face and show that they are sweet and cool. And don't let people funny accent mm -hmm. sell you. You know what I'm saying? And things like that. Oh, mm -hmm. this person sounds like they proper. They must be all of this. Like somebody mm -hmm. call me. We and call told that, me. you know, we call that the gift of gab. You know, we or you know, slick talker, you know, like oh, yeah. you know, you know, like I said, you know, we just have to look at what a person represents. And like I said, me working with her and me going over there and prior to everybody coming, I'm integrated in society. When I decide to come out with that Asper, that's when I got into all of this drama. I was there living and, and happy before all of that came. So we, you know, we have to re, uh, reassess our situation, man. And we have to definitely put some systems in there. You know, the game yeah. and people are looking, trust me, you, you know, if you're coming over and you're weak, you're definitely going to be taken advantage of. And, you know, uh, these people that are coming over and aren't representing us in the right way. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. family. And family, me personally, I'm just here to share a story with you, but I'm also putting my perspective on it. And the main thing I'm, I'm always saying is that, family, let's do more of our research on all aspects of the story. You know what I mean? On all aspects of all the people involved in whatever we're looking to deal with, especially when it comes to land, investment, mm -hmm. real estate, repatriation, tours, investment, any kind of connection into Africa. Mm -hmm. Now, because I'm telling my brother, as a matter of fact, he was telling me, man, mm -hmm. before uh, all of these people started traveling to Africa, you used to see videos of us, and yeah, you know, you see us in Africa having business conference, and that's, you know, mm -hmm. we're learning, mm -hmm. and we're just showing what we're doing and building the energy, and mm -hmm. you know, and we're still here. Mm -hmm. And that's so you can tell us serious about this business. The longevity will be there and things like that. So I tell people, take a look at people's track record mm -hmm. and, and take a look at where people are accessible. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing real estate, I have to have an office. We have an office right here. This is a real estate operation mm -hmm. right here in Georgia. Then mm -hmm. we, you go to Ghana, there's one right there in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And our people there take it to see the land mm -hmm. and things like that. You need legal paperwork. We have legal paperwork accessible for, for you before you start putting a bunch of money down, legal contracts and things yeah. like that mm -hmm. and documentation. So what we're telling people is like, don't let don't let that's because someone is popular with popular people on YouTube that doesn't authenticate nothing and that's what I've seen in certain situations I'm not here to call names and things like that you know, everybody kind of know the kind of people that we're talking about in the different yeah. countries in Africa yeah. and things like that and I'm not into any celebrity things and that you know I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm a grassroots brother mm -hmm. and you know I'm always telling brothers and sisters who just no one else knows and things like that but it is their heart is in the game let's come over and have a conversation talk because your story matters and you are you are relevant because you know what I'm saying you're trying to build something strong and that's why my brother Quasi Boyd is literally this here man and we're just dropping it strong and telling your family look for us in the whirlwind mm -hmm. because you can't stop a strong man from right. building the nation and we're going to continue into the next story next serious subject. family about nation building so yes family the Staga comes to an end and all we're going to be doing now is talking about positive vibrations mm -hmm. my brother that we got all of that out the way and now yeah. we're about to just go into some yeah. other things so family thank you appreciate go you hard game joining check me out bomani and crazy boy live on revolutionary cam here in georgia we're rocking you know i got the uh gambia, gambia. soccer jersey yeah, and you got, got the gambia. senegal and gambia africa for africa's uh shirt and then you're gonna see us there in the gambia for our next journey for lifetime march 30th to april 10th 2023 on the journey of a lifetime so check out our website africa for we the africans.org yes right. last words brother we want to make that one big <laughs> absolutely we're building it okay. right now a april 30th 
No. Uh, that is March 30th March to April 30th 10th. To April 10th. Yes, right. 10, uh, 10 full days. Right. 10 full days. In the country, family. 10 days, Gambia, next in year. Senegal and the Gambia. Yes, Senegal family. Senegal and the Gambia. Beautiful. Yes, brother, <laughs> appreciate you. Yes. And the journey continues. All right. Thanks. Peace.